Jessica. I'm a librarian here at Warren Newport Public Library. Today I'm going to talk about Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. So the main character, Amira, is a 25-year-old woman, and the title refers to the fact that this is not such a fun age. Even though she does her share of going out and having fun with her friends, she's really struggling. She is going to get kicked off her parents' health insurance when she turns 26. She cannot find a full-time job. She doesn't know what she wants to do with her life. She doesn't have any money. She, you know, she has a housing situation with roommates that, you know, works but isn't the best situation. Um, so she's just struggling. One of her part-time jobs is being a nanny to a little girl named Briar, and she adores Briar. She really, really loves this job and um, really finds that Briar brings a lot to her life. One day, through a series of events, Amira and Briar have to go to the grocery store very, very late at night. And while they're in the middle of the store, they get sort of accosted by a shopper and the store manager. And they approach her and they say, what are you doing here with this little girl? because you see Amira's black and Briar's white. So they're wondering, what is this black woman doing here with this little girl in the, in the wee hours of the night? And, you know, is this innocent? Well, Amira is not only annoyed, but she's defiant, right? She's like, I'm doing my job. I'm perfectly allowed to be here. Like, what is the problem? So of course they go through this whole thing where they call the mother and, you know, everything's legitimate. Of course it is. Um, but it, it leaves Amira unsettled. In the meantime, we have a well-meaning shopper who videotapes the whole encounter. He encourages Amira to release this video to the media and sort of talk about why this is unacceptable. Amira says, absolutely not. Delete that video. I want nothing to do with any of this. I don't want to be the face of a movement. I don't want to add this to my list of things that I have to worry about, right? So she tries to just move on with her life, but Briar's mother is also very affected by what happened in the grocery store. She can't understand why her babysitter would have been treated that way, and she really encourages Amira to go public with the story. Amira is resistant all the way through. So as like um, a second um, choice, the mother of Briar decides she's going to take Amira under her wing and sort of help her um, become the adult that she's trying to be. You know, like, let's look into education for you. Let's look into jobs for you. And Amira is very resistant to this. She has a mother figure. She doesn't really want another one. And she doesn't really care for Briar's mother very much. Um, there's a lot of good conversations in this book about race, about class, about identity, about parenting. Um, in a lot of ways, Amira is a much better influence in Briar's life than her own mother is. Um, so there's some good conversations that can be had from this book, and it was really thought-provoking. I hope you'll check this out. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed.